Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Before I begin, not giving you any medical advice, not making any medical claims. But with that being said, I'm actually here to share with you guys results of a test that I just recently had. It, I thought it was so interesting, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. And it was ultimately a test on my kidneys and my bladder. And the results were actually, the, the person who was doing the test was blown away by what they were seeing. And I was curious, so I was asking a lot of questions. And I didn't know, uh, hence the reason I want to share this with you guys, I didn't realize that these tests also, when you're doing such tests where they're doing like a type of, it's almost like, a, what do they call it? It is partially a Doppler examination, but also when they're using like ultrasound. And I have a lot of the test results here. Now, the reason that it's interesting is because you can actually tell again a lot about a person's supposed age by looking at things like the kidney and the bladder. And that's what I was gonna share with you guys. So mine was literally unbelievable. Uh, when I was looking at it, I was asking her because there were different colors, specifically red and blue. And she said, I'm, I'm reading off the results here. <clears throat> Has a lot to do with renal arteries, Ultimately, I mean, there's a lot of fancy, you know, language from interlobular arteries, peak uh, systolic velocities and blah, blah, blah. But it really comes down to just really good blood flow and obviously the blood that's being carried to and from the heart. And she said that mine was like truly unbelievable. My blood flow was so good and the size of my kidneys because your kidneys, like as you get older, can actually get smaller. And that was something that she was telling me about. And because people not only don't drink enough water, and in my opinion, not very clean water, and she talked about the same thing, but even the stuff in our food, because of all these toxins, they put a big strain on the kidneys and the kidneys literally shrink, they get weaker because they're being just really abused in a lot of ways. Now, her looking at it, she's like, if she wouldn't have known my age, she said, I probably would have guessed it was somebody who's like 22, 23 years old, which was like really cool. Cause then of course, she was able to see what my age actually is. And she just couldn't believe it. She said, if I didn't know, and I had just seen the imaging, she said, it just literally would have blown my mind. She said, it's, it looks extremely healthy. And then she did my bladder test. Now this was interesting too, because I had to drink a very large amount of water and they want to see the bladder first when it's full of water. And she's scanning it and she said, do you have to go to the bathroom like really, really bad? And I said, no, I'm fine. And she couldn't believe that either. And I was asked, and of course I'm curious. And I'm like, why do you ask? She said, look at this scan, look at your bladder. She said, if I didn't know, you should totally be doing the pee pee dance and you cannot be holding in this amount of fluids in your bladder. She said, I just thought that you'd have to go. And she said, you have a really large bladder. And a lot of it I think is a lot of the water that I drink, but the hydrogen for some reason, and I've seen this with a lot of people, including myself, which is, it has given me so much bladder control, it's unbelievable. Because even when I was much younger, I didn't even have the bladder control that I have now. It was actually like getting up at night to go to the bathroom. Yes, I used to have to get up, you know, two, maybe even as much as three times a night. And I've always been a pretty good water drinker. Now I get up zero. I never have to really get up and use the bathroom anymore, which is just, I get much better sleep in regards to that. And so then she wanted me to empty my bladder and see how well I could empty it. And then of course I did that, came back, they scanned it again, and I was having the ability to really empty it apparently better than the average person. So the whole test was really kind of interesting. And yes, apparently my kidneys and my bladder look to be in excellent shape, excellent condition. And I attribute a lot of that to really clean water with the hydrogen. And it really does make a difference because clean water is great, but clean water never gave me the level of bladder control that I now have. And when I get off of hydrogen, because sometimes I get off of hydrogen or you go somewhere for long periods of time, I definitely notice the difference when I'm not on hydrogen and when I am on it. And then of course, I think the dietary issues, you know, and trying to keep the body as clean as possible and as healthy as possible really makes a difference too. But in the end for me, it really has been the hydrogen that has really changed a lot of things, no matter how healthy I was trying to be. So that was it guys. I just wanted to share with you my experiences on this, on these tests that I received and that was it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the next one.